This is not financial advice, this is not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get a video I put them out, see them things, see them analyzing that data. But I tell y'all every day, the day they release us is false, meant to give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. I want to ask you a question. If you had a child and every time that child got in trouble, you bailed them out. Every time they did something wrong, you didn't punish them. You just helped them out. Would that child ever learn to follow the rules? I don't think so. I think without discipline, without the fear of loss of something, some privilege, some privilege or something, there's no way to deter bad behavior. Bad behavior is deterred by the thought that there will be consequences for your actions. That's why we have laws. Well, that's why we have laws for the 99%. And those laws in place keep society functioning because people who utilize their brain, people who are thinking, they say, if I do this, there's a high likelihood that this might happen to me. So therefore, because they know there will be consequences to their bad behavior, a majority of people follow the rules. And that's the only way that our society can function is when people follow the rules. But with these hedges, with these banks, they don't have to follow the rules. There's no consequences for their bad behavior. So why would they ever stop? Can you imagine since from 2008 to 2023, they've been violating the law. They've been lending money <laughs> to over leverage hedge funds. They've been doing things that had we done it, our FICO score would be 300. Had we done it, we couldn't, we couldn't borrow five cents from the bum on the corner. But somehow they're able to continue violating the rules, continue making bad decisions, and nobody holds them accountable. So if they know that nobody will ever hold them accountable, accountable, why would they stop breaking the law? They're not. They're not. So now that the feds are giving them all these these loans at these great interest rates that they're allegedly putting up collateral to get, which we all know that the collateral is not worth what the monetary value is. Because if it was, they wouldn't need the feds. They would sell it in the open market and get the cash. So obviously, obviously, the assets are not worth what they're telling the feds it's worth. But the feds don't care. You know why? Because they're all in bed together. The feds give the money and then they give it back to the politicians and, and campaign donations and, and, and other benefits. And the only people that end up suffering is the 99% and pension funds. And the 1% going with their day, going with their life, and they don't care about the rules. They don't care about the law because they do not apply to them. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that if they're never held accountable, will they ever stop breaking the law? I don't think so. Anyway, have a great day. God bless, and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.